Now let's move on to the next question. Question number seven. Pause the video and find out this question in your practice manual. I hope you all have found out this sum. The following summarizes the percentage change in operating income, percentage change in revenue, and beta for four pharmaceutical firms. Okay. So what is beta? That is not a concern right now. What the question is asking us, we'll know that first. There are four firms. Changes in revenue simply means sales. Changes in operating income simply means EBIT. Operating income, I hope you all understand it now because in the definition, in the explanation, when I was teaching the theory part, there I have stretched on it a lot. Okay. So what they require us to find out is calculate the degree of operating leverage for each of this firm and comment also. Okay. So you all know how to comment. Use the operating leverage to explain why these firms have different beta. So that is not important right now. That I'll tell you what to do at the end. So that is not needed right now. Okay. So please do not put more importance on that. How to solve this sum? It is very simple because they have already provide, provided us with changes in sales and changes in operating income. That is EBIT. And what they have asked us to find out? Calculate the degree of operating leverage. For each of this form, so it is very simple. You can find it out. Okay, the formula is that only percentage change in EBIT divided by percentage change in sales for degree of operating leverage. So you just simply need to substitute the percentage and find out the degree of operating leverage. Simply, th this what is this? This is times static part. Okay, but we are finding out. The static part that is times with the help of the dynamic formula that is degree of operating leverage. I hope this is quite clear. So we are not solving the sum. We will we'll move ahead because this is not that important. Please pause the video and find out this sum in your practice manual. Okay, I hope you all have found out this sum. A company had the following balance sheet as on thirty first March two thousand six. Liability and equity assets. These are all the details provided in the balance sheet. We'll move ahead. The additional information given to us are as under fixed cost per annum, excluding interest. Excluding interest. I hope you know what interest is. EBIT less interest than we get EBT. Okay. So it is eight crores. Variable operating cost ratio is sixty five percent. Simply, it means that variable cost is sixty-five percent of what of sales. I hope this is also quite clear. Total asset turnover ratio is two point five. So the the turnover uh, the total asset turnover ratio formula is sales divided by total assets. I hope this is quite clear. I have already taught this in ratio analysis chapter. An income tax rate is forty percent. You are required to find out what. Calculate the following and comment: earning per shares, operating leverage, financial leverage, and combined leverage. So let's move ahead and we'll find it out. This is question number eight. Write PM page. Also, so first thing. The format. This is very important. I told you our entire chapter will revolve around this format only. So if you are good with the format, then you are the best. Sales is less variable cost. Contribution less fixed cost. We get EBIT less interest. We get EBT less tax. We get profit after tax. If preference dividend is there, then preference dividend PD stands for preference dividend. Then we get net profit after tax. Here in the question there is no preference dividend, so simply we'll write over here zero, and whatever is the PAT will become N PAT. Okay, that is net profit after tax. Sales we have to find. We'll find that variable cost is sixty five percent of sales. So that is simple. Fixed cost they have provided us that is eight. 
we'll simply write it over here in crores okay mm, sorry written in the long wrong line eight okay so firstly what they have provided us in the question total asset turnover ratio they are given they have given us 2.5 so with the help of that we'll be able to find out sales how we'll be able to find out sales that i'll show you total asset turnover ratio is equal to 2.5 and the formula is sales upon total asset okay so here in place of total asset turnover ratio it will come 2.5 2.5 is equal to sales divided by total assets. How you will identify total assets? Simply over here, 40 is given balance sheet, asset side total that is 40, fixed assets plus current assets comes to 40. Therefore, sales is equal to 2.5 into 40, which is equal to 100. I hope this is quite clear. And this is 100 crores. Hope this is quite clear. So, in place of sales, we'll write. 100 so variable cost is 65 percent of sales so 65 contribution will be equal to how much 35 ebit will be equal to how much 27 we need to find out interest how we'll find out interest in the balance sheet on the liability side they have given us 15 percent debentures we are concerned with only equity and debentures reserves and surplus we are not concerned over here and current liabilities also we are not concerned over here i hope this is quite clear so interest will be equal to 20 into 15 percent so 20 is what it is 20 crores 20 into 15 percent is equal to 3 so 3 subtracted we get ebt is equal to 24 and tax rate they have given to us over here income tax rate is 40 percent so we'll simply write 40 percent of ebt which is equal to 24 into 40 percent 9.6 minus equal to which comes to pat comes to 14.4 less zero and pat comes to that is net profit after tax come to 14.4 crores i hope this is quite clear okay so first thing what they have asked us to find out is EPS okay so we'll find out EPS first earning per share formula is net profit after tax divided by number of equity shares these are all the short forms when you are practicing some but in exam do not write all the short forms will not get any marks okay so please write in your in your note in your notebooks net uh, sorry number of equity share not notes okay I hope this is quite clear NPAT is equal to 14.4 divided by number of equity share. How will identify number of equity share? Equity share 1 crore shares of rupees 10 each. They have simply given us to simply given us to that uh, 1 crore shares are there into 100 which is equal to 10 crores. So share capital is equal to 10 crores. So number of equity shares is 1. So therefore earning per share is rupees 14.4 rupees. So this is not in crores. This both are in crores. 14.4 crores divided by 1 crore. Okay. So we have found out EPS. Now we you all don't have any problem to find out operating leverage, financial leverage and combined leverage. Because operating leverage formula is this. Combined, uh, sorry. Financial leverage formula is this. And combined leverage formula op is equal to operating leverage into financial leverage. So I am not solving that part. And you all know how to interpret and give a comment on that so i hope you all are pretty smart doing that you have to just go back and read the interpretation that i have given to you all so that the interpretation get revised and you write it on your own and everything i don't need to give it to you all because i'm giving way more than that what you need and this is very simple chapter i hope you all don't lose four marks in this chapter because people do silly mistake like this in crores times and all okay so do not do that silly mistakes this is important rupees 14.4 crores crores are also very important please have presence of mind in paper i hope this is quite clear 
if you want to copy please pause the video and copy this much pause the video and copy the remaining part i hope you all have done this